Hi, I'm David at Pianos Now. I would like to introduce a 1912 Blutner Grand Piano. This was manufactured in Germany, again, in 1912. Recently restored, it's really quite the instrument. Let's take a closer look here. The original finish is in great shape, as well as the hardware, a lot of original brass hardware in top condition. The restoration included complete restringing. And on the Bluthner, just like many European grand pianos, each string is individually tied from end to end. The bass strings are all new, duplicating the original style and size. The soundboard is also original. And that really helps to keep the piano's originally intended tone and quality. Let's look at some other features. The music desk has multiple settings for either up close or far away. Slidable sides, probably early on so that you could move your light source. A little bit of a look at the tuning pins here. All of these are new. And this piano has A graphs from end to end. Again, somewhat common with European pianos. The A graph gives you a very clean termination point and keeps the string spacing consistent. Let's pull the fall board off here and take a look at the action mechanism. All of the original keys are in great shape, fully intact. The black keys are ebony. This action mechanism is known as Bluthner's patent action. First thing I'm noticing is the color of the wood and the action is very light. This piano doesn't show any signs of trauma nor any signs of any moisture or problems in its history. All right, let's carefully slide it out here. So just like my first impression, even the metal screws and other parts are clean, no signs of rust throughout. The original hammers are in very good condition. I think we should give this piano a bit of a listen.